This is the Carrera Fury. It's a 27.5 inch hardtail from Halfords and retails for £600. In this video, we'll go through the bike's excellent component specifications as well as some of my first impressions of the bike so far. So starting with the suspension, the bike comes with this Suntour Radon LOR air fork with 120mm of travel and rebound adjustment. The wheels on this bike are 27.5 inches in diameter, with the front wheel being held in with a through axle and the rear being held in with a standard skewer cut release. Surprisingly, the tyres that come with this bike are the 2.25 inch WTB trail bosses, which for a bike of this price is really nice to see. The frame also appears to be wide enough to accept thicker tyres or some decent mud guards if the user wishes to do so. The bike is kitted out with Shimano Dior 1x10 speed, with a 32 tooth chainring up front and an 11x46 tooth cassette in the rear, giving a really good range of gears for trail riding and mild ascents. Another amazing aspect of this bike is it comes with a Holotech type bottom bracket, something that's rarely seen on a bike of this price, and essentially means that you can avoid all the hassle that comes along with the standard square taper variant bottom brackets. In addition, the brakes on this bike are the Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes, with 180mm rotors on the front and 160mm rotors on the rear. I actually have these exact brakes on my own bike and I've found that they're really very capable for most types of riding. Probably one of the most unexpected components on this bike is the inclusion of an 125mm dropper post, which would be amazing for most trails in the UK. The bike is built with the C2 butted aluminium alloy frame with semi-external cable routing. So I weighed this bike and got a value of 14.23 kilograms, which for a bike of this price is also fantastic. So this is one of the best spec bikes that I've seen at the £600 mark. If you're a beginner or a more experienced rider, I can imagine you'd be well set up to take on the trails with this bike. So what compromises appear to have been made in order to achieve such a bike for the price? Well, if I was being really critical, I'd have to say that the lever to the dropper post isn't particularly ergonomic and has a habit of moving around even when torqued up correctly. Secondly, I'd recommend buying some frame protection stickers or some rubber covers for the cables as they appear to have already worn the paint off after a very short ride around the block. And lastly, as with almost all bikes, the pedals that come with this bike are terrible. This will be the first thing that I changed if it were my bike. But overall, the bike comes with an amazing spec for the price that looks good for potential upgrades in the future as well. So hopefully that gave you a quick insight into the bike if you are thinking of buying it and if you already have I'd recommend looking at the frame protection and pedals as mentioned. I plan to do more videos on this bike in the future so make sure you stay tuned for them. Anyway I'd like to thank you very much for watching and as always ride safe.